But there is this phenomenon. It's a wonderful, wonderful phenomenon that was discovered in the mid 19th, sorry, 1750s mm -hmm. by Johann Leidenfrost. And oh, oh. what he discovered was that if you introduce a liquid or any sort of, uh, of mass to a surface that is much, much hotter than its boiling temperature, you get a weird phenomenon that we now call the Leyden frost effect. Did he have a hot plate like this? He did not have a I hot didn't plate, think so. but he did have uh, cast iron plates on top of fires. Oh, and, okay, and so that's okay. what he played with, just as we're playing with this. So the first thing to realize is you need to have, be much, much hotter than the boiling temperature of water for this to work. Got it. Boiling temperature of water is 100 degrees. Okay. Right? So what we want is we want something near 200 degrees or above, and we are about 218. That's perfect. Now, what's going to happen? Uh, when I put water into this pan, what do you think? I mean, we, we see what happens when I do this. When I do this, it just, just gone. sizzles away, right? But boom. Uh, it would probably just last a little longer, but the same effect. Maybe, but maybe, maybe not. Let's go ahead and take this pipette. I'm okay. going to put in this little thing of water we have, which is super high tech, by the way. It's uh, <laughs> mochi from, Typical know -how. from the island store. And uh, if you go to the back camera here, if I put dabs of water, well, well there's little, like, little notice. micro bubbles. They just kind of dance around a little bit. Is that partially because it's a Teflon pan? Or? Well, I mean, the, the, the Teflon comes into it, but this would do it on a cast iron pan. Mm -hmm. So instead of getting this, where it just sizzles away, we're getting this. And it's not just a temperature. I could have this up at the temperature of the burner. Unfortunately, it would cook off the Teflon and be <laughs> very, very toxic for us. So we're not going to do this. Right. This is actually the Leyden frost effect. This is exactly what's happening. You see how you get like little bu bubbles and particles dancing? Look how long that's lasting. Yeah. There's no way that amount of water should be able to last on a surface as hot as this. This is more than twice the boiling temperature of H2O. Okay. So, so what's happening is as the liquid comes into contact with the surface, the bottom layer is going to vaporize. That, that vapor, like a little buffer. it's like a shield. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so what happens is this is not actually contacting the pan. This is resting on top of a layer of water vapor, and that water vapor is actually insulating most of the water from the heat of the pan. That's pretty cool. It's almost like a little super hot hoverboard. It really is. <laughs> oh, you, can, you can do this in many different uh, ways. My chemistry teacher used to do this, this uh, this demonstration every year. We loved this demonstration where he would take liquid nitrogen mm -hmm. and he would put it into his mouth. Why and would you would do just, that? He would blow it out. <laughs> okay. well, and what happens is you've got a liquid that's so cold and your mouth is way above the boiling temperature of that liquid yeah. that it never actually touches the skin. There's a layer, a very thin layer of liquid nitrogen and as long as you don't swallow, you could just blow it out. That sounds, still sounds kind of dangerous. It's super, <laughs> super dangerous. I would not... Don't, don't okay, do it. don't try it, but don't do your it. chemistry teacher but, survived. Uh, if you've watched the Mythbusters, they actually did this as well with the lead experiment. So you mm -hmm. have molten lead, you have a wet hand, you could put your hand into the lead quickly and take it straight back out. And that's because the water vapor will, uh, the water will vaporize and it forms like a, just a very thin shield around your hand <laughs> and it will keep the lead from touching you. Now, wow. the trick though is temperature. If the temperature's not high enough, you don't get the laden frost effect. You just get the flashing over. Okay. See, like when I lifted this off, it, it actually the laden frost effect will start to die off, and eventually that that little bead. Look at that. Look how long that's going. Yeah. It just keeps going go. and going. Whee. It's like the Energizer Bunny of uh, of, of water droplets. <laughs> oh, this. There we go. Make us happy. What's what's this at? What do we got? So this is 207 degrees. Okay. Uh, now there is uh, there is a thing about this. Uh, this one really cool bottle of uh, of water over here. It's not just water. Uh, Brian, you want to reach your hand into that? Into that? Okay. Stay away from the hot plate. Ew! What's in here? <laughs> okay. It feels like eyeballs. It, it looks like water. It is not. This what? is actually a jar of polymer beads. They, they're just they're translucent. Oh, can you see? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> they feel like little eyeballs. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, so what these are are little pieces of polymer that look like this, if you go to the over, overhead. They're, they're tiny, they look like pieces of plastic, but when you put this into water, the polymer, <laughs> each of these tiny it's beads like grows a hundred like times, times its size, yeah. right? Wow. It just soaks up all that water. Now, the reason why we've got them is because you can actually use the Leyden frost effect to, to some wonderful extent here. It won't work on this Teflon pan, unfortunately, because okay. I, I would need a cast iron pan, but I can do this. So this is our uh, our surface, and it's Probably at 400? 443 Ooh. degrees Celsius. So that's that's a nice little clip. Toasty. A little toasty. 
Now, if I, if I do this, if this was just plastic, it should immediately stick. It should melt, right? Uh, yeah, I'd imagine. Like but that, uh, yeah. go ahead and go to the back camera. Whoa. Whoa. Woo! <laughs> it makes like a little noise. Yep, yep. So what's happening is every time it contacts the surface, the water that's embedded inside of the little bead... Evaporates. It evaporates like and it creates buffer. a little shield. And I, <laughs> Brooke's going to hate me. These are going to be all over the place. They'll evaporate eventually, right? Now, if, if I had a way to, uh, to keep these <laughs> on the surface, yeah. they would actually just keep bouncing around. I like it. They're like little, little explosions of steam until the water content got so low that it could no longer supply uh, enough water vapor to, to keep itself from, from getting burned. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. They, make, they make a cool little noise, too. They do. <laughs> it, actually, here. Let me get close so you can hear it. I think the chat room should be able to hear that now. Yep, yep. <laughs> so this, this is practical science. So this is what happens when you get a surface that's really, really hot and, uh, and, and you play with water vapor.